our approach to anterior skull-based lesions is really how do we design a minimally invasive approach when these things come up. And surgery is really our, a very strong go-to for these types of lesions in most cases because a lot of these tumors are best handled by actually removing them away surgically from these critical structures. A lot of these tumors can be taken out by just approaching them with an endoscope through the sinuses, through the nose. Uh, and it's a very minimally invasive procedure, very well tolerated by patients. These surgeries usually last about four hours, four to five hours, um, depending on the type of anterior tumor that they have. My experience with Duke was wonderful. Um, you know, you get there, sign yourself in, you sign your paperwork. They see the pre-op nurses, they see anesthesia, they see their surgeon. Once all the check marks are in place and the OR is ready, the patient will be rolled back to the OR. The surgical team is composed of a head and neck surgeon and a neurosurgeon. The ENT surgeon will perform the approach, in other words, exposing the tumor. Uh, the neurosurgeon will then come in to remove the actual tumor. And then the final step is to reconstruct the skull base. So when patients have surgery at Duke, they stay in the hospital for an average of one to two nights. And after that, they are discharged home where they continue to recover. Patients can take anywhere between one to six weeks to fully recover and be back to their full function. It is a major surgery. It is brain surgery. And so, you know, for me, it took a couple weeks of re being really easy on myself and just truly relaxing and allowing my family to be here for me um, before I started to feel like myself again. We do look at quality of life metrics and do measure those here at Duke and most of our patients end up recovering uh, a full normal quality of life after skull-based surgery. It worked, like it was worth having the surgery. My vision is back, I can drive, I can see my baby. We can use these small instruments, these small endoscopes to kind of sneak in, get the tumor out and get out of Dodge and leave everything normal and the patients go back to doing what they want to do without their tumor. And I find that over and over again, just very satisfying. Uh, that it doesn't require sending someone through a huge ordeal, that we can really take advantage of all of the instrumentation, the advanced technology, the teams, to basically uh, get these tumors to go away and to do so with minimal disruption of the patient's lives.